everyone i'll be showing you guys the best settings to use in fortnite so you can get the maximum fps possible even if you're on the crappiest pc so just me i have a gt 1030 i like to make that really clear i always put it in my titles and stuff to get maximum views but these are the settings that i use and i've been using so i can get consistent fps in both arena and creative while managing to record and upload gameplay onto my youtube channel have fortnite loaded up and then go to settings and these are my settings that i have so i have full screen on and my resolution is 1650 by 1080 i'll be showing you guys how to get stretch resolution later in the video so stick around for that and since i have a 60 hertz monitor i kept my fps at 120 fps if you have a 60 hertz monitor i'd recommend also capping it to 120 fps if you have a 144 hertz monitor then maybe set it to 160 all right or 165 that's what I would recommend doing. So my 3D resolution, I have it at 84%. It says 84%, but I have it at 85%, but it might show 84%. I don't know why it doesn't stick to 85%, but whatever. And then my view distance is medium. My textures are lower and I have low meshes on. I used to have high meshes, but then I decided to, you know, change to low meshes since it does give you less input delay and more FPS. So I would, I would recommend doing that, but the mobile builds do look pretty bad, but it's not that bad. Vsync off, show FPS, I'd recommend that on, just to see how much FPS you have, oh, and keep track of that, and render me mode, obviously on performance mode. So here, this is kind of bugged, I don't know what's going on here. It says 47 ping, but then I have 0 ping in creative, don't know what's up with that. But. So all of this doesn't really matter too much, except record replays, I don't know why I have it on, I'm going to turn it off right now, but yeah, it does, it does affect your FPS a little bit, not too much. So if you want the most FPS possible, I'd recommend turning this off. And then everything else here is not really too important. Or except the sound quality, it does say that if you have it on high, it may decrease performance. So I have it on low. I don't think it really affects your performance at all. Like maybe a little bit, but it's not really too much of a big deal. If you want it on high, then you can have it on high. So that's pretty much it for the Fortnite settings. Now we can go to PC settings and I'll be showing you guys how to enable, how to get stretch resolution. Alright, so now we'll be showing you guys how to get stretch resolution, and stretch resolution basically gives you less input delay and more FPS and stuff. There's a couple of different stretch resolutions that pros use, like like I said, the res I use is 1650 by 1080 but there's a lot of different resolutions out there, and I'll put them on screen. So these resolutions, there's a couple of different ways to enable stretch resolution, and the way that I did it might not be the best way to do it, but it worked for me anyways. So to do this, you have to press the window key on your keyboard and R at the same time. At the bottom left, this is going to pop up. And if there's text already there, then just delete all that. And then what you want to type is the percent logo and local app data and the percent, just like that. Hit OK. And this is going to pop up, right? A bunch of these files. So you're going to scroll down until you see Fortnite game. I have two printer folders, but just, just click on the first one. Click on that, click on save, click on config, click on windows client, and then right click, you'll, you'll see the game user settings. Right click on it, and then go down to properties, and then you're going to see this read only checkbox right here. Make sure to uncheck that, hit apply, and then hit OK, and then you can double click on it to open it. So there's a bunch of things here. Now if you want to scroll all the way down, then you'll get your mesh quality and all your like textures and stuff over here that you can change but basically to change your resolution scroll down almost all the way down and you'll see it right here so first one you'll see is resolution size x and then resolution size y set the resolution size x to 1650 well if you if you want to use my res then set it to 1650 and set the bottom one to 1080 but if you want to use a different res then just, just type it in there then you gotta type this in four times so one right here and then another time right here and you want to scroll down a little bit and then right here type it in right there and then again right here and then after all your changes and stuff um just just type just click on the file at the top left and click save and that's about it and after that just after you're done with this just exit it right click hit properties and then check the read only box right here then hit apply hit ok and after that, you're done, just exit out, and that's it. So now what you want to do is go again to your search bar, and there's two things we can do. So first one is go to your power and sleep settings. Let's go to that. 
and then this will pop up and on the right you'll see additional power settings click on that and then here yours might be on balanced like this but what you want to do is put a, put it on high performance so once you do that then then you just want to exit out and exit out completely then go again down to your search bar you want to type in edit power plant and that'll show up and this will pop up then you can see change advanced power settings click on this and then right here i have mine on high performance and you can click on balance So the next thing you can do is to make sure make, to make sure your drivers are all up to date. To check if all your drivers are up to date, open up your GeForce Experience. And to do that, you either it might be on your desktop, it might be here. Scroll down, or you can just type in this, or you can just type it in here, GeForce Experience, and then just open that up. Once you have it open, you'll see all the all your apps and stuff here, and you'll see drivers at the top left. You see it. Click on that. If, if your driver is out of dated, then it'll say, you know, like driver available and then there's going to be a big like download button or something here. Then just click that or you can just click on the check for updates thing. So my, I'm up to date with my driver since I just recently updated it. But make sure because this can really affect your performance too and your FPS and stuff. And it could cause like crashes, freezes and stuff if you're not out if you're not up to date. So just make sure that's up to date. And also make sure your whole PC is up to date too. So just make sure you know you don't have any updates on your PC. Just the bottom left, click on Windows, click on the settings, open it up, and then you'll see all this stuff here. And you'll see the Windows update right here, top right. And you'll see it, it'll probably say for me it doesn't have anything, but for you it might say when like update available or something. Or you can go to update and security. See it's the last option here. Click on that. And then boom. This will be here. So if if you have updates, it'll say it'll have like a exclamation point right here. And it'll say like updates available or whatever and then just download it. It does it might take a little bit of time though. Or you can click check for updates. So make sure this is up to date too, because that can slow down your whole PC and stuff. So that's about it for the updates. Now updates are very important, they can slow down not only your game but your whole PC as well so I would recommend checking regularly, checking your PC updates like at once a week at least, just check all your updates, make sure everything's up to date and stuff because that can really affect your performance. Thank you guys for watching, if these work make sure to subscribe and like and let me know in the comments if it worked, if it didn't and I'll see you guys in my next video, alright, peace.